the botanical gardens of Silver Springs. There are numerous gardens that I have walked by until I arrived at this sign. And if we look at number eight, Labyrinth Gardens is over here. Number eight. Looks like there's a spiral just to the northeast of it. And we, me, are here. So this is Hemi Syed with the City of Labyrinths project. And we are in Silver Springs in the northwest side, if I can say side, of Calgary. And there are all these gardens, including the Labyrinth Garden, which we are walking towards. And there is the labyrinth. So, paver bricks and green space in between. Not quite paver bricks. And Children never walk a labyrinth, children always run. And it says start over there. So I'm going to go back to the beginning here. So City of Labyrinths Project is arriving at what I believe is the largest outdoor labyrinth in Calgary, Alberta. Oh, you can see here. Donation box. Okay. And, ooh, a guest book. And stuffs about the labyrinth. Walking tour. Fascinating. I'm just going to... Oh, look at this. What does it say? There are many ways to walk the labyrinth. Ways unique as each person who comes to walk. Agnes Lung or Leong. Hopefully I pronounced that correctly. It's actually wonderful. Really wonderful. A lot of thought and effort went into the design of everything. Know thyself. It's memorials. Gwen Carruthers and Dee Boileau. Suggestions for walking a labyrinth. I find it hard to be quiet in a labyrinth, often. So, here we go. And there's my spot, so I'm going to put my stuff there. 
that's from the conference that's my bag and yeah my jackets yeah big mess there we go we'll continue the website says this is the biggest in Canada but we know better don't we It's interesting that there's no, it wasn't the idea to prevent the growth in between the stones, the bricks rather. I can't recall walking, seeing this somewhere. It's like, um, what do you call that? Not perforated, permeable, permeable. interesting effect with the uh, the green growing in between the interlocking bricks there is an outline within the path an outline within the line in the circuit so I am focusing not on the far wall where you turn around or the lack of an aglet. The aglet is the plastic at the end of a shoelace. This. An aglet is what I put at the at the ends of the turnaround, the the lines, the circuits of the lanes. That's the term that I use. And because I don't know that any anyone else uh, designs labyrinths with uh, what I call our aglets, I may be the only one using the word aglet to describe that. So the far wall, if there is no aglet, is what you look at. And then when there is the aglet, the end of this, and you turn around, your eyes focus on that. But because of this green in between the interlocking bricks, the paver bricks, I'm finding I am focusing a little bit on that, on this inner meandering sort of, kind of, squiggly pattern. Interesting. Oh, look at this. There's no, there's nothing growing here. This is removed. Ah, it's loose. Yeah, the green belongs here. Maybe I've gotten used to it. And this just sort of looks dark and not green. Hmm not even oh there's an angel over there oh we'll see that start We're on the outside lane of the left side And the grass is not growing in between here. Oh, there it is. There we are. It does lock it in place. And here is an angel in loving memory of Janet Louise Raphael.
as I understand it, there's there may be three thousand bricks and uh, another one thousand on top of that. One of the other three thousand were fundraised, a thousand were donated, or a thousand were fundraised and three thousand. I feel it's the former. Can't remember at the moment. have to walk this a few more times here are different colored paver bricks reds and grays very different than those maybe this accounts for the donated and when they were building out to these outer lanes and it, there's even more personality and and uniqueness to this Chartres design that is found all over the world and is a default go-to labyrinth design for many many people So, pun intended, we're winding down the last walk on the outer lane. So here we are at the outside of the labyrinth, the last turn. I see some people have been going across here, but that's a little bit too eager. That's where we were a moment ago. There's my pile of stuffs that I just put randomly in the center of the labyrinth. Here we are. Hemi Syed in the center of the Labyrinth Gardens Labyrinth in Silver Spring in North West Quadrant of Calgary. Um, very, very different. I just stand where I usually stand. Maybe. Oh, and it says right there, Chartre Labyrinth, just over there. Yeah. Every neighborhood needs a labyrinth, really, really does. I had a slight hesitation on giving up coming out here. It's my last day in Calgary. It is Saturday, September 23rd, 2017. And I'm going back to Vancouver later in the day. I am happy that I just went with the flow and found my way here. That'll do it for this recording. This is Himi Syed in the center of the labyrinth, the City of Labyrinths project at labyrinths.ca.